Dame Jacqueline. Shall I call you Dame Jacqueline? I think we'll lose the Dame. Jacqueline <laughs> is great. Jacqueline, it is five minutes. I'm going to ask you to count us down five, four, three, two, one once the battery is in, please. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. How many books do you have in your library at home? It's about 15,000. No, actually, it's probably a bit more because that was at the last estimation. I, and I keep on buying books. And they've actually spilled over from all the many, many shelves and are in little piles all over the carpet again. How on earth do you acquire so many books? I'm dreadful. I go to places like Hay on Y and buy up a great many. Every time I go out, I have to go in a bookshop. And even though I know perfectly well I can't ever get them all read, even if I live to 500, I'm still buying them. Why? I just love to read. But I think as a child, I mostly just went to the library. And though I love going to libraries, um, it is wonderful actually to possess a book. So whenever you suddenly think about it and think, oh, I wish I could reread that chapter again, there it is. You can go for it yourself. And what sort of percentage of those books do you think you've actually read? I've probably read about a quarter of them. What do you get from reading? Why is it so important to you? It's the most wonderful way of having another life as well as living your own life and getting inside people's heads and see just what, what life can be like for people. How do you stay up to date with what's going on in young people's lives? That's quite easy. I get lots of letters, lots of emails, and I do lots of events like the one I've just done where I'm talking to the children and then when I'm doing the signing, I chat to them, I hear what they're saying in the queue. It, it's quite easy. Do you feel a sense of responsibility to your readers? I feel immense responsibility. I feel my job is to entertain them and also I do sometimes use quite controversial material. I want to put it across in a way that children can understand, can sympathise with the characters, but I don't want to upset them too much. So it's a sort of narrow tightrope that you walk along, trying to be truthful and yet also trying to be reassuring. How important a part of a child's moral education do you think reading can be? I try not to be too didactic but I think there are hidden morals and I think if any child reads my book they would pick up on the fact that lots of children feel like outsiders and it's mean to tease them and even if a child looks strange or acts in a peculiar way they're just the same as anybody else inside. Are there sometimes hidden meanings in your work that a reader would have to work quite hard to tease out? Well, sometimes I like to feel that somebody might read a book when they're seven or eight and it's just for the story and for the funny bits. Um, then when they're 10 or 11, they might reread the book and have a different idea. And again, in their teens, they might find another meaning entirely. I mean, it's up to them. Do you enjoy having fans? Do you think that people actually develop some sort of relationship with you as the author, not just with your characters? I think they do very much. I feel immensely privileged and for a lady of a certain age to be treated with great whoops and cheers when I go to do events, that's just wonderful. I feel like a very ancient rock star. How did you become an author in the first place? I always knew I wanted to write. I managed to get a job when I was 17 as a very junior journalist working on a magazine desperately wanted to get a book published. First book was published when I was about 22, 23, and I've just kept at it ever since. Do you think there's a best-selling novel in all of us? I think lots of people want to write. I think you require a little bit of talent and a whole enormous amount of determination and stamina and luck. Do you think you've got better as a writer? I do think I've got better as a writer, um, but um, I, I hope that uh, one day I will actually write a book when I think, yes, that's exactly the way I wanted it. I, I'm always left a little bit dissatisfied. Is there a book that you haven't written that you know you will write one day? You're I, saving up. I used to think I'd like to write a Victorian book, but now I've done that with my 
Victorian foundling book, Hetty Feather, and the sequel. So mm, I'm not quite sure what the next book will be. Are you a disciplined writer? Do you have a routine? Very disciplined. Um, I will set my alarm early. I will get up and write for an hour before I do anything else. Quickly tell me interests, passions outside of writing five seconds. Reading, swimming, going to art galleries. There may be others, there. but we're never going to know. <laughs> thank there. you very much. Oh, well, thank you. That nice was to see you. Smashy. I wish all interviews were like that. <laughs>